Alright, welcome back. Um, okay, so let's let's sort of depict what's going on here. Yeah, nice to have an easy thing to. Okay, so I'm sure some of you have like noticed what happens in cases like this, where it's sort of on the border. Which one? It, like, if you pick one of these, it's in. It so might still be colliding with something in a different box. Well, yes, correct. So, um, in order to solve that issue, I guess, pretending we have our grid... Oh, why don't I just use this grid? Okay, so with some circle, I'll draw one in, in a different colour, like black. So, for some circle, it's got its position in the middle, and we know the radius. So we know, like, the bounding box. We have this box we can see the corners of, so this point, this point, that point, that point, black is not such a good colour, I'll use green. So, with this box, that's cool, I like the colour combination, um, with this box we can just iterate, like, with each point we find out which grid box it's in, and just iterate across, like a, a 2D iteration, which is kind of quadratic, isn't it? <laughs> so the, the more boxes there are, like the smaller the boxes there are, the more boxes it'll be, and the worse it'll be in a quadratic sense. Yeah. So yeah, it's a it's a trade-off, I guess. Let me. I'm sure. I'm sure there's multiple research papers to say which is the best. Like, what's the formula for how many objects, what radius, and whatever to get the most optimal grid size. Jeez. Jeez. I. Don't know if you heard that, but I heard that, and that was louder than I wanted it to be. Anyway, um, okay. So yeah, we we just find the boxes of all these points, and I guess if if the thing is out here and the box is like that, then we have to constrain. So when you when you get the grid of that point, you'll you'll do the math dot max, so it'll it'll push it back to being this this box. All right. So let's do that now. Okay, so circles putting themselves in the grid. So for every circle, <laughs> we may as well just use that. Why not? Save another full loop. And yeah, let's let's actually give that the proper name. So this is called. This would be collision flag. Collision flag. Cool, that's out of the way. Right, so we find all four points of this box. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. And so that's. They're like vectors, aren't they? Um, uh, anyway, so we want to get the ij of the top left corner of that circle, which... So once we get that circle dot x minus circle dot radius, that will get us part of... It is this how it's like two variables is getting to me. Alright, so... Um, It's not that bad. So, if we want to get the minimum i and the max, yeah. So we don't even need to look at these two. What was I thinking about that? It's just this line, this line, this line, and this line where they're actually the the boxes. Yeah. Okay. So, so i min. I I being um I being uh this this line I mean it will be equal to the maximum. So I use max here. I mean I meant min when I was describing shoving that to that. Yeah, never mind. Max of 
so it's this will be divided by x slices, won't it? No, no, x slice size, x slice size, yeah. x slice size, the maximum, and we got to turn that into an int as well. Uh, int, 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 pars has a val, int. So the maximum of this and zero. Yeah, yeah. This isn't too bad. What was I? Uh, I'm in. IMAX. Haha, <laughs> IMAX. I don't know if you have IMAX in it, but whatever. So we add the radius and the most we want will be x slices minus 1. Yeah. Yeah, this is easy. I don't know what I wasn't sure about before. For J, so now it's Y, and this is Y. <laughs> this is easy. What was I thinking before? I was like scared or something. Anyway, so so now we have what we need to iterate over. Ah, uh, bugger. <laughs> Got I already in use. Man, I'm already using I. Which one do I sacrifice? <sighs> Grid. Uh, yeah, let's, let's use X and Y because it's, it's it's really the X and Y. X. Grid X min. So yeah, it's, we'll do that. Grid X. Grid Y. To distinguish it from ah, from a floating point. X, Y. Cool. So, we fill them in. So, GERD, GRID, equals X min, capitalization. X is less than or equal to grid X max. Grid X plus plus. Duplicate. This is kind of annoying writing these things in the middle of everywhere with shift and capitalization. Well, never mind. Little gripes, little gripes, not worth mentioning. Okay, so, so for the collision grid. we want to add ourselves, so we just push in the circle. <gasps> oh, it seems too simple to be true, too good to be true. <laughs> is, this it? is this all it is? Is this all it is? <laughs> Alright, uh, okay, we can only push on. Push on. I'm scared to change this. Uh, okay, okay. Oh, it's not a big change, let's just change that and add up here. So we want grid x, grid y outside of that as well. Yeah, grid. Which, which side? What to use here? So now we iterate over every single grid point, so it's the same thing. Good thing I changed it, I saved myself a bit of work. Cool. So, our circle list... Oh, I can't use circle list, can I? Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I can. I hope that JavaScript has the right scope rules. And if I do it like this, I don't have to change anything else, because this will all be, like, perfectly correct. Anyway, 
Checklist equals collision, grid, grid, x, grid, y. Oh my god, this is too simple. I, I am so doubting if this will work. It just seems too simple to be true. Man. Man. Ah. And we're going to go over the circles again. Because we can't have that there anymore. Uh, but yeah, and we need to have a variable like that. Okay, <laughs> for the book comment. Check for collisions within every something something collision grid box. How are we going for time? Ah, oh, that thing again. Sorry, uh, you'll just have to wait till the next episode to see if it works. Dun dun dun.